we do have to address the grievances that terrorists exploit, including economic grievances. Wow. Washington Times online opinion editor Monica Crowley is with us. Monica, comment on that last point, please, that terrorists have yeah. legitimate Grievances. This is what you get when you put extreme leftists like Barack Obama in charge of the nation's national security. You get statements like this. Remember, we heard this from the left after 9-11 when they jumped on the 9-11 hijackers and tried to attribute the root cause of terrorism to poverty, lack of education, lack of opportunity. No, most of those hijackers were middle class to upper middle class and highly educated. They were engineers. Osama bin Laden, his family were a family of billionaires. What the left always does, including what Obama did yesterday, Today, is indulge the victimhood cult, Stuart. Everybody's a victim. Everybody in the Muslim world is a victim of oppression or lack of opportunity. And you see what else he did there? The transfer of responsibility. It's our responsibility now, apparently, to airlift job fairs and Obamacare and subsidized housing to Al Qaeda well, and ISIS. Second. He t just moments ago, he was saying that wealthy countries have a responsibility to invest over there, wherever over there is, do, do, do we, is he really calling for my tax money, your tax money, to go and be spent over there creating jobs so they don't behead Christians? Oh, is that oh, sure what this, is. this president is saying? Sure he is. And the reason it's so logically inconsistent, Stuart, is that there's plenty of unemployment across the Middle East because we know most of these economies are oil-driven, right? Plenty of unemployment. Christians are unemployed. You've got people of other faiths, Jews unemployed. They're not running around flying planes into buildings and blowing people up and beheading people. Why is he doing this? Why is he saying these things at a summit on preventing extremist violence or whatever it's called? Well, why, look, why does he do this? Because if he told the truth about what the true nature of this threat is, which is it's a religious movement, the objective of which is the global domination of Islam, then he'd have to do something far more serious than what he's doing now. So he's basically reluctant to use our armed forces. Period. Yes, because he's also the anti-Bush, and there's no way he's going to preside over any military intervention you of any could, meaning. You could make